Hello everyone, Denise here. Today I want to talk about hooks, just hooks in general. So if you have just started crocheting, you might use a crochet hook, something like this. Just a standard hook that you can purchase at Walmart or wherever, big box store, wherever you went to, uh, to decide that you are going to buy a set or one and try it out. This is the standard Susan Bates hook. I like this one. Um, there's nothing wrong with Susan Bates hooks, in my opinion. Uh, the reason I don't use this style anymore is because I like ergonomic hooks. So this is a standard metal hook. There's no ergonomic to it whatsoever. This helps you hold the hook, but otherwise you have a straight hook. So metal hooks. I find them to be smoother and faster when you crochet. So there's a lot of different styles just in metal hooks. So let me pull some over here. Here are several different styles. This is a very large, completely metal hook. This is one that has an ergonomic grip to it that is part silicone and part plastic. You can see these uh, many places on Amazon and whatnot. This is a tulip hook. This is a higher end metal head hook with ergonomic gripper. Uh, this is a furls hook. This is an Odyssey, which they don't sell anymore, but the head on this is metal and uh, it is ergonomic as well. This is a boy, which you would find at Walmart as well. Just a standard hook. This is a boy hook, but it is ergonomic and it has a metal head. And then this is a Susan Bates. I believe this is called a comfort grip. And this is a, a nice finish on here if you don't like the metal against your hand. There are other hooks that are metal. There are some that are custom made on Etsy. You can get a lot of custom made hooks on Etsy. Uh, this is one that I purchased quite a while back and they handmade the handle and then put a Susan Bates in it. And then there's this style, which is ergonomic in hand. You hold it however it's comfortable in your hand, also a Susan Bates head. And then there is this style that I, I purchased both of these on Etsy. And they are polymer clay handles with metal heads. So there's a lot of different styles of the metal head hooks. Uh, they are, I mean, that's something that I have used since I began crocheting was a metal hook. Then we move into wood hooks. Wood hooks come in all shapes and sizes and they also are featured on Etsy for um, hand, handmade or hand styled hooks. This is one that I got on Etsy. It has a resin center in it. And then this one is ergonomic as well and handmade. And then there's the other kind that you'll see and find that uh, are made of bamboo and other woods. And like the other resin and wood one, this is also resin and wood. So what is resin, you say? <laughs> well, all these hooks back here, you see all them? Those are all resin hooks. And those can come in all different shapes and sizes as well. So as you can see, those are O-Fire hooks. Uh, I'm affiliated with O-Fire, but there are other hooks as well that are resin, like this one that you can find on the internet. Uh, this is an Omi hook. Uh, Boy has a resin hook. I mean, there's a ton out there. If you look on Etsy, you can find tons of resin hooks now. So that's just a style. There's a million styles of resin hooks. All of the O-Fires you see all have the same shape. And then they have detailing on them. They're very, very 
uh, unique to o Fire styling on theirs. Also, people make their own resin hooks and they sell them on Etsy with flowers in them. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Um, the other kind of hook is plastic. So basic plastic. Uh, this one's from Dollar Tree, but you will often see these at Walmart. This style and this style. But there's ergonomic ones as well. So then you would have like this style and this style. And there's a million different kinds of hooks in this category as well. Uh, this is a decorative, but it's also plastic. So lots of different hooks in that category too. And then there are light up hooks. I, I used to own a whole set of the, um, I can't remember crochet light, I think is the brand name. I owned a whole set of them or almost a whole set and I gifted them. But this is a set I recently purchased and reviewed um, from Amazon, which I really like. And it lights up, as you can see. And that's to help you crochet with dark yarn or at night. And then, as you're looking at this hook, you can tell that this comes off. And that is an interchangeable set. And there are many different kinds of those as well. So 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 many different hooks that you can choose from and my recommendation if you are just starting out crocheting and you don't know if you want to keep doing it is go to michael's go to hobby lobby walmart is okay but uh joanne possibly mm, joanne's a little limited too i feel like michael's and hobby lobby have the most diverse as far as the larger stores go that is available to me anyway. Uh, look at their hooks. If you can hold them in your hand, try to hold them in your hand. Buy one. Buy one that matches your yarn. And how you do that is you look on your ball band of your yarn and it will give you a suggestion right here of what size to buy. So then go look for a 5.5 millimeter hook in whatever one that you find comfortable or appealing, and then go from there. Uh, that's, that's my biggest recommendation if you are starting. And then once you decide you want to crochet, then go ahead and go search out more like I have over the years. Find what works best for you. I use the ergonomic crochet hooks back here because I have arthritis and gripping issues and they help me. But if you don't have those issues, you could use just a smaller hook like this and it would be fine. Different yarns work better with different hooks. So I would recommend ac acrylic yarn with whatever hook that you're starting with. Usually that works well with any hook, at least in my experience. So that is sort of like my rundown review of crochet hooks and the different types. Of course, there are different different ones that I don't own that I can't show you, but those, those are the basic crochet hooks. And then you have like Tunisian crochet, which is a completely different thing with a different hook. So I hope this sheds some light on different types of hooks for you if you are newer to the craft and uh, keep an eye out this week. This is, well, two weeks of crochet hooks. I'm going to go over hooks and grippers and all the things. And don't forget to join in on the giveaway. I will link that below. So take care, everyone. Thank you for watching. Until next time, guys. Bye.